Hey everyone. Welcome you all to Munez Studio. After a long break, I am back with a new video series packaging design tutorial. In this tutorial series, I will teach you how you can create packaging designs and make the box die line. Once you get the brief from the client, they will send you the dimension of the box as well. This is the box dimension we will use, 10 by 6.5 by 22.5 centimeters. First the width of the box, then the width of the side panel of the box and the last one is the height of the box. The box dimension always works this way. So, first we'll select the rectangle tool and create the front or back of the box. Width will be 10 cm and height will be 22.5 cm. Then I will copy this box by holding the Alt and Shift key from the keyboard and drag it on the right side. Then using the pointer from the transform window, I will select the pointer to the left side, so the width reduce from the right to left and the value will be 6.5 cm, which is the size of the side panel of the box. Then I will select both shapes and will copy them again by holding the Alt and Shift key from the keyboard and drag it on the right side. Now I will copy this and will take it to the top. We are creating the top lid of the box which will cover the box from the top, and this will be the 6.5 cm same size as the side panel. Now I will make another copy of this shape and will create the top edge which will go inside the box after closing the top lid and this one will be 1.5 cm. Now select the Direct Selection tool and click on the top two anchor points and drag them inside until it becomes round. Now I will create the glue part of the box, which will be used to glue the box from the side. To create that, I will copy this shape by holding the Alt and Shift key from the keyboard and drag it on the left side, then I will make the width 1.5 cm. Now select the Direct Selection tool and select the top and anchor point then press down key by holding the Shift key on your keyboard. Do the same thing for the bottom part. Now I will copy the top flap and place it on the bottom. Then I will flip it. It's time to create the sides of the top and bottom flap. These will help the top and bottom flap to seal tightly. I will copy the side flap and will place it on the top. Then I will make the half size of the top flap and tuck flap which will be 4 cm for this particular box. To make the side shapes, we will need 0.5 cm x 0.5 cm box, and then I will copy this and will change the height to 0.25 cm, then I will place it on the right side top of this box. Now I will bring the ruler guides, and then I will lock the guides and will delete the boxes that we just created, then I will select the Add Anchor Point tool and will add anchor points on these places. Now I will unlock the guides and will delete them. Then I will select the Direct Selection tool and select this anchor point, then press one time right key on your keyboard holding the Shift key, then select this anchor point and press two times right key on your keyboard holding the Shift key. Now select this anchor point, then press one time left key on your keyboard holding the Shift key and then select this anchor point and press two times left key on your keyboard holding the shift key. Now I will copy this and will place it on the bottom, then flip it. Select both the shapes and then copy them on the left side, then I will flip them. Die line is ready now, it's time to create the creasing for the folding guides. First I will rename the layer, and then I will create a new layer for the creasing. Now select the Direct Selection tool and select all the lines inside then cut them and now paste it on front. Then I will make it dotted and then change the color. Now I will create another layer for the bleed. I will hide the other two layers. Now select the box and change it from Stroke to Fill and then go to Path and Offset Path, then make it 0.25 inches joins round hit OK. Now make it Expend Appearance and make it Compound Path then right-click to release the compound path, then make it compound path again. I will change the color to a lighter color, and I will make visible the other two layers. Our box is ready. Thank you for watching the full video. If you have any question or need any help please leave a comment, I will reply you. We will create a box design on this template in the next video. Till then take care bye bye. Thank you.